And Darren Schoenrock joined us now. Uh, another big one for your team, Coach. Well, you know, I, I told them that, that offensively we, we failed in some execution moments. We had a hit and run, a couple bunts we didn't get down. And, and when, you're, when you're getting a pitching performance like that, you've got to turn that switch on and say one more run could be like six. Right. And, and, uh, and it's hard. Ole Miss can really, really pitch. And what they do so well, every guy they bring in, they throw, they throw secondary pitches for strikes. They throw sliders for strikes. Change it. They're, they're, they're in the strike zone with a very, very dominant mix. And so that's why they have the earned run average that they do. And that's why that, you know, the, they've got the record they do because of that pitching staff. And, and, uh, and you know, you just got to scratch out enough, but, but Jonathan matched them pitch for pitch. You were on my radio show today. I said, when is he going to break down the door? He broke down the door tonight. He broke down the door. And, 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 and Coach Bianco said, that's, that's Friday night stuff. That's what you see Friday night around college baseball. And, and hopefully that flips the switch for him where he can move forward. And, and uh, there's still some young moments. You know, the, when, we, when we went up in the ninth, we, we, and we decided to stick with him in the ninth one because he was so dominant. Two, Hathcock was at about 57 pitches in two days yeah. and worked out of some very, very difficult jams and with one day's rest. And, uh, and so we rolled the dice with Jonathan. He, you know, the leadoff hit by pitch, and then he left the slider up or a changeup up for Bortles. Uh, so maybe one or two mislocated pitches. Otherwise, it's a one nothing win. But I wanted him. To, I wanted to see him in that moment yeah. in the ninth. And 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 that's a, that's when the the mind says yes and the body may say no because of the workload that day. But but that's something he'll work through. Overall, defensively, maybe the best game of the year. Grizzlyonic made an unbelievable play. And uh, you know we're not real range in the middle, but but when we you know I've stressed over and over, handling the routine play, dominating the routine play. We're going to do the best we can and put you in position. We had him out of position there a little bit. Uh, we put Trell in as, as many positions as we can because we're not rangy. Uh, but their offensive guy is playing in the middle, and that's what we have. But uh, and then we just we mix we miss executed the one tandem relay. We air mailed the first cut man, and yeah. we executed two tandems beautifully this weekend to throw guys out the plate. Uh, I think if we get if we hit the front man there, we would probably throw him out the plate again. So uh, little things, but but. Uh, we controlled the running game, which is huge when you play them. Uh, so uh, all, all around defensively, you know, you don't win two-to-one games without playing defense and pitching. How nice is it to lean on some of these seniors? Like Trent said, he wasn't seeing the pitches that well earlier. Then he ends up getting the game-winning hit in the 11th inning. The seniors that you can depend on. Yeah, that's huge. The, just just mileage and at bats under the belt. And, you know, Trella is starting to show you that he can sit on pitches uh, but as many at bats as, as those seniors have under their belt now, they're able to do that in those moments. I felt really good at the part of the lineup. Once we got the leadoff man on, I felt really good at the part of the lineup. Then when Bowman got the big hit to push the runner in the scoring position, I felt I had a really good feeling then because we had Turner and Trella back to back, guys that can sit on pitches, a pitcher that was that was pitching in a predictable pattern, and I felt good. Rock, what does it mean to sweep Ole Miss? Well, it, I mean, it means a lot to the Tiger Nation. I know that. Uh, and and it, and it it is good. We've we've you know we've played them very well. Uh, but but quality p opponent. I mean, uh, you know a lot of our guys know each other, and and it, it, it's good for our our fan base. Uh, I, I'll you know I'll take a sweep over Houston and East Carolina sure. in the same boat. Sure. But, but it is it's really good for our program and our athletic department. All right. Can you can you tell Chris Carey to stop beating up the walls? Chris is frustrated right now. He wants to he wants to help the team so bad. It's not a selfish thing at all. He's a uh, 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 he's an animal, and nothing's going to slow him down. So, uh, <laughs> but, but the wall's not slowing him down. Hear that and, thud up here. You heard that thud, and, and and thank goodness it was padded and not concrete. If that's yeah. concrete, we probably got another right fielder in there. So, uh, but that's the way he plays the game, and 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 he lays it on the line. He's one of those seniors that that we're leaning on heavily. All right, coach, we'll go get him this weekend against Southern. Thanks, Jeff. Great yeah, win, coach. Coach Darren Schoenrock.